Thank you for listening to the Gift Up podcast. And I'll admit, this is not the kind of news that I like to report. Unfortunately, Von Miller is out for the season with an ankle injury. Bradley Chubb is already on a snap count. And it really takes away from what we thought the Denver Broncos were going to be this year. Two months ago in July, I started the podcast, and I'm talking about how Denver is going to have one of the best defensive lines of football. The Jarrell Casey move is one of the more underrated moves that have happened this offseason that nobody's talking about. And now we're not going to get to see it. It's a shame. It really is. And, yeah, I feel better that I got the Tennessee pick in, Tennessee plus one before this injury happened, and that's why I get the Vegas spreads up early. So, yeah, we win on that regard, but you don't want to see guys go down like this. I mean, I I thought that Denver was going to be a dark horse team this year. This is a shame, man. Could you imagine what this would have looked like with Von Miller, Jarrell Casey, and Bradley Chubb, a full 16? Could you imagine what that would have looked like? And now we're not going to get to see it. It's a damn shame. And it was something that was going to help Drew Locke, too. Because we still have to see Drew Locke develop. Jerry Judy, you know, as a player, he still has to gain muscle mass, get ready to be a number one wideout in this league. He still has some growing issues he's got to go through. And having a good defense would have made that a lot easier. And now we don't get to see it. It's, it's such a damn shame. Such a damn shame. I mean, offensively, there's so much to look forward to. Philip Lindsay, Melvin Gordon, Jerry Judy, Corlin Sutton, Noah Fant adding into his second year. I mean, what Drew Locke could end up being. The defense, like I said, you know, I thought this was going to be a top three defensive line in football, and you're taking that away. Now, I'm not trying to rub it in, but this linebacking core is one of the worst linebacking cores in football, too. And all of a sudden, this front seven is no longer dangerous, which means teams can have their way with you. How are they going to stop Derrick Henry week one? It's uh, – I hate – again, uh, the last thing I'll say is I hate to report news like this, uh, the allure of what that was going to look like with Von Miller, Bradley Chubb, and Jarrell Casey. Damn, man. Uh, it's a letdown. It is. With that, make sure to hit the like button, share the videos, and subscribe.